All right, so I'm back, and today we're going to look at a few uh, Marvel Legends figures. Um, again, we're going to do kind of a bit of a war um, to see which one's the better one, and ultimately decide which one I'm going to put on the shelf. So, uh, what we got here is we got uh, Cyclops, uh, looks like X Factor version, um, definitely from Marvel Legends line. I want to say Sentinel series. Don't quote me on that one. Um, here, uh, my best guess is this is we've got a Marvel Select uh, Cyclops because he is significantly taller than the other two. Um, so this guy's pretty much instantly ruled out. But we're still going to look at him. Um, and then we've got uh, more of the mid-90s Cyclops over here. So we're going to start off by looking at the Marvel Select one. Um, so... Pulling him in a little bit closer. Uh, he's got uh, pretty good head sculpts. Um, Posability kind of sucks. Um, we'll get into that. Um, great paint detail on the blue because um, you can see it's it's blue and it's got um, some ink wash going on in there uh, to really darken it up. Um, the yellows, the yellow plastic has a little bit of tinge of orangish brown going on there. Kind of a dry brush, um, but it, uh, yeah, it, it it doesn't it doesn't cover up the fact that it's just this hideous yellow. Um, <laughs> it really doesn't. Um, head, it's on a ball joint, so you got the uh, up and down a little bit, left and right. Um, pretty good. Pretty good possibility there. Wish his head would go a little bit further up, though. You know, I, uh, yeah, I don't want to break him. Uh, shoulders can go in and out, all the way around. No bicep swivel. That's one of the one of the things that I think of of Marvel Select because they go more for the design. Now he does have an elbow swivel, or right above the elbow joint. Bends at the elbow one that much uh, and then he rotates at the glove so this is kind of a redundant posability I mean why would you put them both right there um, I think they're just too close nothing else at the hand whatsoever no wrist I mean yeah he's got the wrist swivel uh, but no no wrist uh, bend or finger bend or anything like that And that's, that's uh, kind of unfortunate there. Um, waist swivels. Hips kind of on a swivel, but not really. Uh, and then they kind of come out up and down, uh, but not, not, very, not very well. Uh, he's got a bend at the knee. Swivels at the, th at the boot. Um, got the ankle tilt, nothing at the toe, and no in and out at the ankle. So his posability is actually not that, not not that good. And the dog is eating in the background. I do apologize. You know, I let him eat whenever he can eat, whenever he wants to eat. So sorry, we're gonna just deal with it. Um, all right. So there he is. Um, so the posability is not very great. The, um, the paint scheme's not the best of what I would like. Um, and let's take a look at the, um, the scale here. So here he is with Spider-Man. <coughs> ah, excuse me. So here he is with the Spider-Man, who's having a hard time standing. Um, and again, you can see how much taller he is than Spider-Man. And, and that right there rolls him out because, like I said, I'm pretty sure that means he's a Marvel Select figure. Um, and I'm not knocking Marvel Select or anything, but um, they're at 6-inch scale. And these are 5-inch scale. Um, so he just he doesn't 
scale well with the others. As you can see, you know, he's only about head shorter than the Hulk, and that is way not right. <laughs> so, so moving him off to the side, moving him off the side. All in all, I'm going to give him a, a 4 out of 10. Um, I think the yellows really would have benefited from a little bit darkerness, or the blue could have been brighter blue. Um, you it, Having such a dark blue with such a bright yellow, it, it kind of sets up a pretty strong contrast that I don't like. Um, Poseability is, is pretty crap. Um, the legs are loose and they don't, they don't even bend that far. Um, they kind of just suck in general. I mean, this, th these things are pretty bad. Um, so yeah, uh, yeah, he's not the best. So we're going to toss him off to the side. All right, next thing we're going to take a look at is the uh, one that looks like the, uh, and now he's got his bone. <laughs> I am sorry about the background noise. Um, all right, so it looks like he's got the uh, cart, uh, the mid-90s cartoon look um, going on here. Um, all right, uh, so pretty good. Uh, face sculpt there um you know this is one of those very rare figures where i have to say i really kind of wish that there was a button back here to turn the visor on on his eyes he's one of the ones that kind of it's it's kind of a neat necessary um head is on a swivel um it's not on a ball joint it's just a swivel uh that is that is pretty lame, actually. Wow. Um, okay, he's got those weird, wonky, in and out things here. He's uh, pretty muscular, but he's also pretty scrawny. Um, hmm. He's got the ab crunch going on. Uh, shoulders can swivel up and down. Got a little bit of a ratchet there all the way around. Bicep swivel, double bend elbow. He's got a wrist swivel, but it's in a really stupid spot. I have to say, this is a really bad spot for it because a little bit further you'd have it at the glove and that would just look so much better than just the middle of the forearm. Um, the wrist hinges in and out, fingers swivel up and down, like that, that's it. Uh, he's got a waist swivel, hips go up and down, in and out, there is a thigh swivel, double bend knee, uh, there is a boot swivel, which is at the middle of the boot, right in this line right here, so that's actually, that's all right, I, I don't mind that. Would have preferred it one notch up so that it was right here at this cutoff, but I'll, I'll take it. Uh, ankle does have the rocker here. Um, there is a swivel on the ankle, and then the toes swivel up and down. So, uh, all in all, uh, not bad. Um, the head not posing is is definitely a problem. I mean, this thing should. There's no reason for that. Uh, because of his spindliness, he does have a hard time standing. But he does have the little two-finger thing going so that you can get him in that pose if you want. Uh, and he does definitely look like the uh, 90s cartoon Cyclops, which is pretty good. I, I, I do dig that. But he is being kind of hard to stand. Scale-wise, um, here he is with Spider-Man. You see they're about the same height, um, so that's actually right, in my opinion. Um, Cyclops shouldn't be... Cyclops can be a little bit taller than the average guy, but not as taller as that Marvel Select. So there you go. And there's the Hulk. All in all, I'm going to give him a... Oh, look. And looks like he's got some paint 
going over on this side here. That's all in all, I'm gonna give him a um, six out of ten. I think he's cool, but I think he could be better. Um, they put the cuts in the arm or in the wrist a little bit lower down, ball jointed head, uh, maybe some more like ratchets in the hips as opposed to no there's no ratchets in here at all uh except for feels like the shoulder joint has a little bit of a ratchet um, but i think a ratchet would have made him a little bit more posable and uh, also cyclops is in this spindly um so anyway moving him off to the side and now we get into this cyclops so here he is um and as you can see i already have a problem with mine this is this figure alone not the um not the mold but you can see the arm is pretty loose it is very loose um and if i shake him there's that ratchet that broke off or, or whatever it is. All right, so, uh, okay, first off, over the look, overall look of the figure, he looks a lot like the um, the one from the Marvel Select line. His yellows are a lot more muted, and the blue is actually a little bit brighter. So it, it kind of, this works a lot better, in my opinion. Uh, he's got this dark blue with the ink wash going on and over the entire thing. Uh, the yellow's got uh, some ink wash going on. Looks more like a brown, um, so all that all that works pretty well. Um, that's unfortunate, but I can't hold it against this mold because um, it's just my figure. Um, head rotates around, and it's it's on a ball joint, but it's incredibly limited. I mean, seriously, guys, come on. How hard is it to... Okay, it is going a little bit better, but... How hard is it to give Cyclops a ball joint? I mean, his main weapon is his head. You know, the laser that he shoots from his eyes. So you'd think he'd have the most posable neck because he'd be looking where he needs to be targeted. Not, not trying to angle it like this. You know, or, you know... I, seriously. It, mm. Okay, so arm goes up and down. We'll look at this arm. Because this is not broken. Um, it goes in and out. Bicep swivel. Double bend elbow. Get you almost the full bend. Uh, he's got the waist or the wrist swivel right at the glove where it should be, which is nice. Uh, wrist swivels in and out. Fingers close. So all pretty poseable there. Uh, waist swivels, hips aren't working very well, so I bend it all the way up here and it kind of goes back down. So they don't work. Okay, this one works a little bit better. So you got the up and down there. There's a ratchet in there and this one's just, it's not working on this one. I think this thing is about at its end. All right. Um, thigh swivel bends at the knee. Uh, you got some major paint slop right here. I'm not a big stickler for paint, but that's an inexcusable. Um, foot swivels up and down. Uh, there is a little bit of an ankle rock, but it's in the wrong direction. Seriously, why would you need him to bend outwards and not inwards? I mean, that... And the foot has a toe pivot. <clears throat> Alright, um... Okay, not going into the flaws of the shoulder. Um... Trying to look at this figure objectively, he looks nice. He definitely has a little bit more muscle tone than the spindly one that I just looked at, so he's definitely better in that aspect. But that's that's the end of it. I mean, 
I don't know. I, I really like Cyclops and I'm kind of perturbed here. Uh, he stands the best of the three. Um, that's, that's not saying a whole lot. Um, so getting him over here, here he is with Spider-Man. Uh, you can see he's a little bit taller than Spider-Man. I need to get a new Spider-Man too. This guy, this one. I'm getting a little frustrated here. And here he is with Hulk. So scale-wise, I think he's just perfect. Like all Marvel Legends we use, it's just the Marvel Select one just isn't great. Um, for this one, I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. Um, he's definitely good. Um, he's got problems. That hit problem is the paint slop is there. It, it, yeah, uh, there you go. Uh, do I recommend any of them? Not really. Uh, I'm going to use him on my display shelf because he's the best of the bunch. And that's just going to be a placeholder until I can find a better Cyclops. I like Cyclops. You know, this figure's cool, but it's just, it's, it doesn't feel like Cyclops to me, even though it, it looks like him. It, it just doesn't feel, it, it just doesn't feel right. Something's wrong with this thing. And then as for the uh, Marvel Select one, you know, that's just size-wise and posability. So this guy is, is the best of the group that I have here. But, um, yeah, it just, I really wish this shoulder was working. So, yeah, he'll be on my display shelf. He's the best of the bunch. And that's not saying a whole lot, though. Um, so, so, yeah, there you go. I'll have him trying to hold his arm up. Like, oh, I broke my arm. No, that, that, that looks stupid. All right. Uh, yeah, I guess that's it. There you go. Marvel Legends Cyclops War. This is the best one of those three. And uh, hopefully there's a better version out there somewhere.